Um, I brought, I'm very excited about this, I um, brought with us um, 769 signatures of um, half of them live in the 22401, 22402, and 22404. So that's the city of Fredericksburg proper. But there are also um, the remaining petitions out of the 769 are from people who come actually into Fredericksburg. The petitions were signed in Fredericksburg, people coming to our city from surrounding areas. So I was going to hand these to you today. We're very excited to do so. And we just appreciate how the city has been a leader um, in paving a path towards 100% clean energy. Um, in our resolution, we stated the year of 2050, as you know, and when we hear these reports from the UN and so forth, um, I know we want to put a, a doable date of the 2050, but um, they're saying by 2032, we have to make drastic, drastic changes. Sadly, at the national level, we appear to be backsliding, with scientists predicting 8 to 12 years before we meet catastrophe. Recent scientific evidence suggests an even shorter time period. I pray that we will all do our very best in our local community with other local communities to reduce fossil fuels as much as possible, as soon as possible, to produce a massive local trickle up effort. I don't want to wait for trickle down, it's not happening. I want to urge everyone in this council to do your best with the assistance of all of us citizens who need to be part of this process to look outside the box, think creatively together, and as quickly as possible reduce the city's use of fossil fuels by increasing every potential source of non-polluting, renewable, sustainable energy. The challenge is great. At the local level, we tend to focus on problems over which we have some degree of control. And we think that reducing greenhouse gases is such an enormous problem that there is nothing we can do at our level that will have any real effect. As with many big problems, the tendency is to think that it's a problem for the federal government to deal with and that all we can do is really is respond as required under some federal plan but there is no federal plan. And that type of response or lack of one is simply unacceptable at this time. Action needs to happen now. All over the country, cities, counties, and states are finding their own way and developing their own plans and objectives to lower their carbon footprints. Some 21 states and over 140 cities have enacted greenhouse gas reduction targets. We must act, and we must act at every level. Approving the 100% transition resolution is a first step, and a meaningful one. It will put the subject on the table for this council and future councils to discuss, to deliberate, to plan, and to take action. 